A reflex is defined as an immediate involuntary motor response to an efferent sensory stimulus. Clinically, reflexes are of three types, tendon or deep reflexes, superficial reflexes and visceral or sphincteric reflexes. A tendon reflex is an involuntary contraction of a muscle in response to stretch. The subject should be completely relaxed. Flex your wrist and allow the weight of the tendon hammer head to determine the strength of the blow. Strike the tendon and not the muscle. Record your responses as increased or hyperactive, normal, diminished, absent or only present when using reinforcement. The homologous reflex on the opposite side also should be tested immediately for the comparison. For eliciting biceps jerk, Position the subject's arm correctly. Feel for the biceps tendon. Place your thumb firmly on the biceps tendon. Strike your thumb with the help of a knee hammer. Observe for the contraction of biceps and the flexion at the elbow. For eliciting triceps jerk, the subject's arm is appropriately positioned. Tap the triceps tendon directly above the olecranon. Observe the contraction of the triceps muscle and the extension of the elbow. Place the subject's arm in a semi-pronated position. Strike the radius 1 to 2 inches above the wrist over its styloid process. Observe the flexion at the elbow and the supination of the forearm. Ask the subject to open his mouth partially. Place one finger firmly on the chin. Strike the finger using a knee hammer and observe for immediate closure of mouth resulting from the contraction of elevators of the jaw. Seat the subject such that his legs dangle freely over the edge of the table. Expose the lower half of the thigh to appreciate contractions of quadriceps. Tap the patellar tendon briskly below the patella and note the contraction of the quadriceps with extension of knee. Cerebellar lesions are characterized by marked hypotonia. In the following video, we are trying to simulate a patient with left cerebellar lesion. Note the pendulum-like oscillations of the left leg while eliciting this knee jerk. To elicit ankle jerk with one hand, Dorsiflex foot of the subject so that the Achilles tendon is stretched. With the other hand, strike the Achilles tendon. Observe for any contraction of calf muscles and plantar flexion of the foot. An ankle clonus can be demonstrated by bending the patient's knee and supporting the leg with one hand and then briskly dorsiflex the ankle. A rhythmic oscillatory contraction can be noted. It is usually associated with upper motor neuron lesion. Gentrasex maneuver or reinforcement is done whenever a reflex appears to be absent. For knee and ankle reflexes, Ask the subject to interlock the fingers and pull one hand against the other on your command immediately before you strike the tendon. To reinforce upper limb reflexes, ask the subject to clench the teeth 
or to make a fist with the contralateral hand. This maneuver increases the sensitivity of muscle spindles. Superficial reflexes are polysynaptic in nature and can be elicited by cutaneous stimulation. Abdominal reflex can be elicited by stroking the abdominal wall with a blunt object in all the four quadrants as shown in this picture. Contraction of abdominal muscles can be observed. Assessment of plantar reflex is of great clinical importance. To elicit this reflex, hold the ankle and firmly stroke the sole with a blunt object on the lateral aspect of the sole. Run from heel along a curve to the ball of the great toe. The normal response is flexion of great toe along with the flexion of the other toes.